to Achas Mororin, a Vayan show, Iletir Kanan. We're open for business. It's a, it's a great county to do business in. And I think the greatest asset that we've had in our county is our people. Um, and people will find that warm welcome. And I have no doubt that Prince Charles and Camilla will experience the warmth and the welcome here today. Wonderful welcome, a very warm welcome. You could sense that there was that warmth and hospitality here on the diamond. A lot of people on the diamond as well, which was marvellous. Because let me tell you, even the organisers of such events, they're always a little bit anxious that maybe nobody would bother turning out. But that was not the case. And of course, the sunshine, you couldn't buy. I mean, luck has been on our side right from early morning. We're in a town that looks amazing. The bright light, the sun, the blue sky, the future King of England uh, wandering about the diamond, telling us all how much he's enjoying being here. And those pictures go around the world. So for the North West, for Letterkenny, for Glenvay, for Donegal Town, for McGettigan's McGee, it's just wonderful. And also the McGee and McGettigan connection, it also highlights the Prince's personal interest. You know, sustainable farming, weaving, you know, he would know all about the crofters' traditions from Scotland, a country he loves too. Alison Pasquier, you're from the Glebe National yeah. School. Exciting day for you and the children. Very, very exciting altogether, very much so. When did you find out about this? Monday. So we, we, we just had an impromptu um, a decision to come here today to see Prince Charles and Camilla. Are you excited? Yes, very excited. Are you excited to see them or excited to be off school for the morning? Excited to see them and excited to be at school. That's, and what's your name? Morgan. And are you excited? Very. And what are you going to, are you going to try and speak to uh, Charles and Camilla? No, yeah, I'm trying to, to say thank you for coming. Thank you for choosing the girl to come to. Unbelievable. Um, it's, it's, it's a great honour for us as brothers and in, for, for our father, Michael, who started the business, to welcome Prince Charles to Donegal and, in fact, and, and Lady Camilla into our business. And uh, we're just blown away by it. We were very nervous. No point saying we weren't. What do you believe the significance of this visit is uh, in, in terms of promoting the county? The hand of friendship. We've extended it back, right back to him, because that's what he's done to us. Isn't that right, Dermot? Well, he, he said uh, from our uh, and uh, from our, from people who have told us and uh, part of the group that he ex was wished to come to Donegal. So that in itself shows that he much maybe in his childhood as a, a going with the. Well, he was in Mullock Moor in his child, his, in child days. He visited Donegal on rare occasions, which we've heard of. So he wanted to come back to visit. Did he sample any of your produce? He did indeed, yes. He sampled the hickory and maple, maple, which is our European and champion. And Lady Camilla sampled the lamb with rosemary and plum. And some talk of a, a, speci a special sausage to coincide with this? Well, this, we've been working on one, a black pudding with home-cured bacon and pear sausage now. It's not a black pudding. It's 50% black pudding with a pork with garlic seasoning and with pear and uh, with the home cure bacon which we cure ourselves, it's a dry cure bacon and that's the one that we launched today. And what did the Royals say to you? What did they say about your, about your produce? About your well he was very impressed that we were butchers but we're also artisan food producers. It really is always, if I may say so ladies and gentlemen, the greatest possible pleasure for my wife and I to visit this uh, wonderful country. We, we enjoyed ourselves so much in uh, County Galway and County Sligo last year that uh, we simply had to come back. Uh, we are particularly happy uh, to come to Donegal, uh, a place of dramatic and beautiful scenery, of music and uh, storytelling, of myth, legend and the Irish language, and a place of course, where the link between man and the land is still so well understood. It is also a place of innovation and uh, creativity, as the work of this institute shows. We are, ladies and gentlemen, so grateful for the warm Irish culture from Councillor Kieran Brogan, Cachelach uh, of Donegal, County Council and Paul Hannigan, President of the Letterkenny 
Institute of Technology.